The spooky tides have finally arrived here on World of Warships Legends. That's right, folks. Hello and welcome to a new update here on World of Warships Legends. Of course, it is time for the spooky waves. Halloween is here, and there is a lot more than just the Halloween mode. So, for those that didn't read the patch notes, let's go have a little look-see at what we have to do. Starting off with our ominous waters that you can see there at the bottom of our screen. This is a free week long and daily boost to get the National Guise for Vasilia Rasputina. Yes, Rasputin's wife is going to be our Guise that we can get if we do all three weeks. You'll notice also above her photo, you see free unlocks free with a little open padlock. So, if you, by some unknown reason, manage to miss a day or two or three, you can use those to purchase that day to unlock it for free. It will not set you back 250 golden doubloons like it used to do in the future, in the past, actually. So, let's see what we have to do to earn these. So every day there's going to be something new. Play a battle, kill a ship, 500 commander XP. And you can see there as well, for Commander XP, we get 50 of the Halloween currency that we currently have right now. The Halloween shards, as, I've, as I'm going to call them. It's probably wrong. But during week number one, we get 50 of them for every single day. We don't get anything special this week. We get two of the big spring crates, uh, which is on day five and day seven. They're starting the false grades, and then you get a ominous patch batch, patch symbol at the end. For week number two, it gets replaced with owning just one thing. Aside from the shards, you'll also be getting gold. So don't expect from a huge amount this week, but I think it's going to be the same. Yet day five and day seven will be another one of the fall crates, and you get to finish off by having the ominous waters flag which is our new Halloween flag for this year, and it looks pretty cool. And then going into the third week, we get to have double rewards back again, along with our Halloween currency. Do we get anything special? Okay, so we get a fall crate on day number three. And... Day number seven, and then we get to finish it off by obviously getting our Halloween 2024 crate. Crack it open to get a chance to earn the new battleship, Sean Hart's 43, a Commander Gui skin from a Halloween ship of this year. Spooky camouflages, Commander progression items as well. Very nice. Doing all that, of course, you will get this beautiful woman. Let's see what she sounds like. That's creepy. And very annoying, actually. Hmm. Okay. So we're gonna move on to that, and we're gonna dip our way into the Bureau, and there's gonna be nothing new here. Even though they did state that there was gonna be a Bureau project coming, so maybe it's coming later on within the update. But as for now, I'm stuck with just only two that we currently have. See what's in the store. And here we go, here is our ships. Well, well, well. Looky, looky, looky. So, the haunted supplies for 5,000 gold will get you five of the Halloween pumpkins for you to open up. 1,250 of the shadow coins, that's what they're called, plus a bonus of an extra 250. So, 1,500 shadow coins with five of the Halloween containers. If you were to go for this pack, the Shadow Travelers, you'll get the Halloween Premium Skins for the Z23, Kansas, and Montana. I thought that looked like the five of them, but okay, fair enough. you also get Bjorn, who is our American, British, and I don't even know what that other country flag is. That's new. Uh, let's see what he sounds like. Help me find the bad guys. Fair enough. If you were to go for Amon, he is our Pan-Asian and Japanese commander. Look, you got 
had to give me more, so I'd know where to shoot. Okay, that's pretty cool. And then we go for Nadar, who was our final commander. Greece, she is our Pan Europe, German, French. Uh, why does it look like the Pan Europe? Oh, a Commonwealth commander. Okay, so let's see what she sounds like. Many thanks indeed. Hmm. Doing that will also get you the Rasputina flag, the Bjorn flag, and the Nadar flag. We don't get a flag for a Mon? Huh. That's a shame, but we do get his ship, and this is where his flag is hiding as well. We can get the Blazing Dread, which is essentially Zazoya. And obviously, as I said, we get his flag along with it for 15,000 of the Shadow Coins. Very nice, very nice. You can also go and buy Rasputin, which was last year's Halloween ship, for 8,000 of the Shadow Coins. That will get you 15 million if you already have her. You can also get the Hipper Camouflage from last year's event as well. Oh, it's only 4,000 Shadow Coins, but you already own the skin, and if I get a duplicate, it's only worth 825 paints. That's kind of bad. Of course, we could buy Nadar out straight as well for 3,750 golden doubloons. Wait, do we get an owl? No, okay. Then we have the classic tier 6 Sean Harf. She is on discount for 10,000 golden doubloons. Let's see what else we got here hidden inside of the store. So we're going to collect that free crate. Thank you, Wargaming. Appreciate it, as always. Ah, uh, here's all the stuff. That's only one. Yeah, it's only one. That's kind of bad. Ooh, the Fyfen's in here. Hello. And you do get your... Mm, you might be what I go for. As much as Ark Royals here, which is a rare aircraft carrier in herself, I think I'll just go for the the Leviathan, and obviously our past free commander Guises is here as well, which is awesome. You can get all three of these. These were last year's commander Guises that we had, and were worth five thousand gold in the balloons, but now they're only worth three thousand shadow coins. Interesting. Halloween Essentials. What is this? So what, you pay shadow coins to get these? What's that? At the Whoa. What are the golden pumpkins? Smash open to receive the balloons and some useful supplies as well as a chance to win a super prize. Okay. Very cool. Nothing here really. None of these are special. Like, I kind of expected a free crate to be brutally honest. It could just be me being greedy, but normally when it comes to this type of stuff, Wargaming gives us a free crate. But... I don't see anything... Ah, hello, Druid. Yes, I forgot that you entered this event as well. A brand new Steel Destroyer. For anyone who wants to spend 25,000 steel. There you go. What does she... Whoa, just seen the port. She got double gun... She looks pretty clean, too. Definitely likes her AA defense, I'll say that much. Where's your torpedoes mounted, my dear? Where, where, where? Why? Right, because they're not in the bow. They're not underneath the bridge. They're not hidden on the main deck. I 
I don't see them heading on your stern neighbor. Wait, do you even come with torpedoes? Fail, you don't. Oh, wow, you're a gun. No. No, instantly not looking at that anymore. Hell no. Mm-mm. Pass. Straight up pass. I don't care. Let's, uh... Let's move on to the new stuff. So, the campaign where we're going to be earning this as our brand new campaign ship. The Navarin as our tier 8 Russian, German, uh, Russian battleship. She's low, sleek, and fast with powerful guns that do an interesting setup. We have a single in the front and twins on the rear, which is kind of the standard setup, actually. No, it's not. It's the other way around for high-tier Russian battleships in the standard attack tree line. It normally doubles up front with a single in the rear. How peculiar. Obviously, I guess you can angle something like that, and then you can fire one or two of your guns at the same time. Don't know. We'll have to find out. Ah, damn it. She has a limited damage control party. Fuck sakes. Wouldn't be that case. Armor piercing shells. She's actually pretty well armored, to be fair. Definitely that front end of her bow is a weak spot, and along with just a little chunk of her stern is a weak spot, too. Let me see, in February 1914, working on a new battleship design commenced with the primary focus being to arrange 16-inch or 406mm guns and a quadruple gun turret. The secondary battery comprised 5.1-inch or 130mm guns produced by the Optikov factory, while the main turrets were positioned along the ship's center line. Because of the outbreak of World War I, no ships of this design were laid down. Fail. You're a blueprint ship. But you're a very nice looking blueprint ship, I will say that much. That port is really creeping me out, but it's really cool too. So. Let us see what all we would have to do for this beautiful campaign. Oh yeah, there's a Halloween thing, which me and Rotary will be playing later. So, for anyone that's maybe going to be missing out on this and wants to know what the Halloween mode is like, be my guest. Interesting. So this is the new way that they're doing this. And I kind of like this, because this has just essentially fucked everyone who did a different way. So it used to be, the endurance trials you had to do no matter what, and then the shakedowns were done in two different segments. But because there's a Halloween mode... This is a fail. Because there's a Halloween mode, you can essentially beat your shakedowns. All within Halloween. That is cool. Okay, so. For AI, Arena, and... Or not Arena, sorry. Arcade. And Standard Battles. You need to win 500,000 credits, 12,500 XP, 5,500 XP before bonuses. Kill five ships. And then we enter... Or, sorry. Kill five ships is our shakedowns. 450 damage, for, sorry, 450,000 damage, and place in the top three four times. Now, if you were to play the Halloween mode, well, shock horror, win a battle is win a battle. Instead of 500,000 credits, you have to hit the ships 500 times with your main battery. Instead of 12,500 XP, 800,000 damage. This seems like it's going to be so much easier. Instead of 500,000, sorry, 5,500 XP before bonuses, you need to cause 30 floods. I would rather take the XP. Instead of killing 5 ships in standard, 
you must hit 1,000 of your secondary battery hits. Instead of 450,000 damage, you must kill 45 ships. I'll take the damage. Thank you. And then, of course, instead of placing in the top three, you just need to win five matches within the Halloween mode. That is pretty freaking cool. I like this wargaming. Anything new in the trials? Anything that can earn us something? Whoa! Okay. Hi. 750, sorry, 700,000 silver. 10 of the boosters and a free of the fall crates. A lot of all of these. Okay. Jesus. Okay. This is applying to the people who go for the, for the medals. So instead of 15 kills, no one's the first time doing this, so instead of 15 kills, you need to get a Kraken, which is essentially 5 kills. And that's from Tier 1 to Legends? Oh, there's going to be people starting this game and they're going to get farmed. Instead of winning 10 matches... Place in the top two free times, based on the XP received. Okay. I think winning is going to be probably the easiest thing to do, especially when AI is in there. Instead of getting, t holy crap, 150 flood, fire, incapacitation, or kills, you can go for 10 citadels. That seems more easier than that. Instead of 15 defend, capture, or assisted capture medals, you can... Become the best on your team for two matches. And instead of 750, or sorry, 700,000 damage, you can get one arsonist or a liquidator medal. Arsonist is easy to get, the liquidator is not that easy to get. Anything new within the weekly since they're shaking things up and surprising the hell out of me? No, not really. Okay, good. That was concerning. Okay, good. The premium supplies are still the same, too. Yep, I know Navarro is my first ship of the week. And I am going to buy the Admiralty. Uh, because I want to participate within this campaign. So we're just going to buy that straight up. Personal mission. The battle prowess contains four tasks. You can receive five rewards for completing all the tasks. I know. And we get a pumpkin. How many pumpkins do we get in this campaign? So far I've only seen one. Two. Okay, so there's three pumpkins that we can earn by the campaign. Okay. So I guess we're going to have to get our win out of the way first. There she is, the Queen Mary. Oh, cool, you get to see all the... Battle props, battleship, destroyer, cruiser. I'm not going to do the Halloween mode yet, dude, because obviously you got to be feeding the dogs soon. There's meant to be something, is it a collection? No. Yeah, I don't know if there's not a new collection, there's a calendar. Yeah, I know about the calendar, I was ex trying to figure out where the World War One stuff was, that they were meant to be doing. It might... But it's not out. It might not be happening yet, it might not be out yet, no. 
Oh, I don't know when. Uh, I don't know when it's meant to be coming out. Oh my god, play the fucking game, Xbox! It's like my tenth time trying to fucking start you already, come on. <laughs> oh, well, it's Halloween. Hello, Rasputin. You can come out and play inside of Arena for me. Right. AI, even. What if we open up our Halloween crate? Yeah, let's open up our Halloween. Uh, no, I want to look at the patch. Get our common one out of the way first. Nobody wants a commoner. Um. Oh, November 4th through 18, Flash. Oh, so it's not out yet. Fair no. enough. Uh, November... Why is that out in November? That's a bit weird. <laughs> well, there's some coins I don't need to spend. I just got fucking Kansas' Halloween skin. Nice! No, not nice, because I paid fucking gold for my last one. <laughs> yeah, and you got given, and that one got given away, and now you just got given another one. God damn it. Although she might look cool. I don't know. I'll have to see. Just play the fucking game! I've already restarted you! Please! I actually want to play ships today! Holy fuck! This is so fast riding. It took me a few attempts to get mine to work. It's insane! I mean, the service didn't come live till about 20 minutes ago, I think. If not more. But mine's just failing because my Xbox is a cunt. <laughs> I mean, I won't even load snow on off either. It's just being an asshole. Oh, this one's not gonna work either. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see? Can't. Right, let's try something else. Let's try like DDF then. to there first unit us enemy force sighted on the horizon That's insulting. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Insult to injury here, Xbox, you know. I missed everything? Doesn't load ships, doesn't load fucking warships, uh, what snow on either, but it will load EDF happily. Just want me to suffer, don't you? <laughs> See if it works now. Turn, turn, turn the guns, turn the guns, turn the fucking guns. Oh my god. 
Bart, don't start your shit with me, or I'll punch you right in your penis. <laughs> you fucking did try and do your bullshit. Well, time to get fucking castrated. Oh my god, can touch your penis. What are you looking to do to him? We're insulted he's just tried to double torpedo me and missed. I don't have, can you deal with him? Try and load the game anyway, and you're not going to be able to play it either. Why? Because they're closing the servers down. What? Mm hmm. Due to uh, issues with the pan European destroyers being purchasable. Because people have too much money, according to the game. And it says that you, um, you're minus 10 million silver <laughs> despite having more than enough money. <laughs> and yeah, it's. Um, it's a bit bugged. So they're having to close the service for maintenance. Again. Meanwhile, I can't even fucking play the game at all. And yet so somehow that's... I'm in a game, what the yeah, fuck? Man. But yeah, but they've only just announced it, though. Oh, there's my assist. Oh yeah, the assistant badges. I forgot they were new. <sighs> this is so frustrating. Yeah, due to its rights purchasing Panier destroyers, we're closing the service on maintenance. And they'll ping it again on the Discord whatever. That's so annoying. Yep. There it is. That's us being disconnected <laughs> next to Wargaming. Unfortunately not <laughs> having our game prepped. All because of those fucking destroyers. Damn it. Well, uh. I got one on Discord doesn't know why the servers just went down. Like, it, it pings everyone. How do you not know? They're very. They've been very quick, but there goes the Twitter message as well. They've been very quick for telling me. Let's see. I, mean, I turned off my internet, so I didn't even. Pay attention, because I paid attention to when the said service came online, but not whenever they disconnected them. Yep, due to the issues related to purchasing the pan European destroyers, we're closing the servers for maintenance. We'll notify you when the servers are live again. Apologies for any inconvenience. No, that took them... What was that? The servers were live for 37 minutes. And then it crashed. Because of fucking something that's went wrong. Well... Well, I could say, folks, for the people watching this on Twitch and watching us on YouTube, I'm going to end it here, but I will come back later on to try and continue the campaign. 
And then after I get some food in my system even later on today, me and Rory will be back yet again to do the Halloween mode. Yeah! Because we're not giving up on this. If we're anyone wants sure. to do the Halloween why mode... Why is it you're not doing it now again? I can't remember why. I mean, other than we don't do it this early. Yeah, it's too early. I want to try and do the campaign stuff first. Oh, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> well, um, not that you can do it now anyway. <laughs> yeah, that's true. The fucking servers are down, so I can't do it. <laughs> But for anyone who wants to join me and Rotary later, please, by all means, message me on Xbox and say you want to join us for the Halloween mode. Because if you want to try and get the Halloween mode beat, it is recommended it you beat it within the first fucking week when the really good players are online. Because well, if you try and leave it like we did last online. time, yeah, you get stuck with idiots at the end. And then you can't beat it. So it's definitely recommended beating it in the first day. Well, week even, sorry. So, until in a little bit, folks, I will catch you all later on today. Mm -hmm.